It's real scholarship. Our religion is in danger of being taken over by mad people. And I want to read quickly an example of this from Imam Tabari. It's in his famous book, at Tariq. And he talks about the Khawarij when they took over a village. And I want to emphasize that the Khawarij were people that had prayer marks on their heads. Most of them memorized the Quran. They prayed all night. They fasted during the daytime. The Prophet ﷺ said, when you see them, you'll belittle your own prayer in front of their prayer. You'll belittle your own fasting when you see how much they fast. They were so charismatic that many, many thousands of people joined their groups. And when they took over the areas that they took over, what did they do? Bloodshed, killing people that disagreed with them. I want to just read this section. He mentions that when the Khawarij came to a village, and this was a village in Iraq, they took an old man and her daughter, who were Muslims that weren't following their version of Islam. And the woman, the young girl started crying and she said, don't kill my father, he's an old man. Inna abi musaf Don't kill my father, he's an old man. And then she said, Wa amma ana fa inna ma ana jariya. I'm just a young girl. Wallahi ma ataytu fahishatan qat. Wala adaytu jara li. I never harmed anybody. I never did any sinful thing. And then they said, Faqaddamuha li yaqtuluha. They brought her in front of them to kill her. And when she did that, she shouted, Akhadat tunadi, ma dhambi, ma dhambi. What's my sin? What's my sin? And then they killed her and cut her up and then they killed her father. This is, this, our history is filled with mad people in the name of religion who go about killing other people. This is going on in the Masajid of Afghanistan, in the Masajid of Pakistan, in the Masajid of, uh, of Iraq. We even find this type of mentality in our own country here in the United States. And if we're not careful when we see these people, like this young, this, this young man in New York, really, who, who plans on blowing up uh, Times Square with innocent people walking around, and then on the stand, he says that he's proud of it and he would do it again. This is the type of problem that we're dealing with in certain segments of our community. If we remain in denial about this, if we don't address the need for sound scholarship, for moderation in our religion, for the truthful teaching of Islam. And I know all of you are part of this, but we have to institutionalize these things. We have to bring this to the forefront of our concern because our religion is a beautiful religion and it's being made ugly by the acts of fools, by the acts of the sufaha.